BJJ report. The creature feature is your programming. And um, sure I'm not bleeding. Don't have a black eye. Cool. Things that uh, things that can happen after the BJJ roll after rolling. Um, your programming and how does this kind of tie into uh, BJJ? Each time you roll with uh, one of your um, training partners, you tend to do the same thing over and over. Phil Halfpenny, what's up? So you tend to, uh, for example, this morning I rolled with Eddie, I rolled with Broski, I rolled with uh, you know, Jay, I rolled with uh, two Jays, and, and I rolled with this gentleman, Aaron, and you know, with both Jays, with both Jays, and with Eddie, I knew what I was getting into, and I knew kind of what our dance was. You know, BJJ is very similar, just dancing and dance partner. And, you know, once you once you kind of know each other's moves or have an idea of what those moves are, you two begin. To, you, you two have your own dance, as it were. You, you have your own roles. You have your own flows, and you kind of. You, you know when somebody is going to give and you know when they're not, but the deal is you, you kind of lock yourself into that. You lock yourself into that just because you've done it the, the first time and the brain is a very, very, very efficient machine and it says, if you did this and you didn't die last time, then keep doing that, right? Uh, and, and that makes it easy for the brain to say, these things work to keep you alive. These things work to keep you alive. So don't change anything. You don't need to get much better because you're living. It's cool. Like, you know, that guy didn't totally choke you out the whole time. You know, or, you know, again, if you go back to some of the early BJJ reports, you'll see that, you know, you find yourself in the same position over and over and over again because you're not paying attention to the program that either has been built into you or the one that you've developed yourself that says how do I keep ending up here I keep ending up here in the same place I keep putting myself here nobody's forcing me to get here but how do I keep ending up here and then finally like you realize the step or two before it that, that got you there or maybe you ask a question and again the example is in BJJ you say whoa 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 how did I get here what just happened uh, again, this is the example I'm going to use is from this morning. Eddie, who's a, a purple belt, you know, he, he, I knew. What was funny is I knew my arm was in an, in an awkward position. I knew my arm wasn't in the position that it needed to absolutely be. But I also didn't know where else I needed to go. And once he put me into the compromising position where I, where I, where I submitted and I said, nah, that's it. But before we move on, how did I end up here? How did I end up here? Like the first time you get somewhere you don't want to be, the first question you should say to yourself is, how did I end up here? And same same situation if you got to a place that you love. You just got to a place that you love and you don't know how you got there. You don't know how you got there. Then you got to be like, how the hell did I just get here? How did I, you know, who, who's with me? What was going on? Trace those steps right back and be like, that is a program that I just created. Those are some lines of code that I just wrote. I was like, each step is a line of code. All right. And each time you bundle up a bunch of lines of code in a similar situation, you've got to have it or you've got an object that's replaceable or a function that you can take in place in different places and reuse over and over again. And you got to say to yourself, I gotta keep reusing this code. And sometimes you gotta say to yourself, and sometimes your brain is like, dude, listen, you're performing at an optimal level to where you ever were before, so why do you keep needing to improve? I've had people ask me this before. Why Why would you want more? Why would you wanna do more with your life? Uh, why would you want more than what you've already got? You've got it pretty good. And then they start throwing statistics at me, like you know, the, the one statistic somebody's throwing at me before is like, well, once you reach seventy-five thousand dollars a year, you know, there's no more happiness after that. I'm not trying to be happier. Newsflash. I'm trying to be more. 
happy. If that makes sense. I'm trying to have a more fulfilling life. I'm trying to have more bliss. I'm trying to have more love. I'm trying to have more of that. And if it comes out with money attached to it, I'll take it. And if it doesn't, you know, you know what? I'm still feeling great. The money is not an indicator of how I'm feeling. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But back to the program. We get to a point. Our brain says, you've reached this pinnacle. Your brain says, you've gotten to a point that says, this is good enough. I run, uh, I run pretty well on this level. We are as efficient as we need to be. 99% of the time, you are as efficient as you need to be. You see people that smoke their entire lives, drink their entire lives, and live to a ripe old age. Right? Yeah, that's as efficient as you need to be. How efficient do you want to be? And again, you find yourself in a place that you don't want to be. You've got you to gotta look back. What were the steps that got you there? What was the programming that got you there? And VJJ... What was, you know, where was I? What just happened? Can we stop this for a moment? They do this in Japan with uh, the Toyota. Um, you know, they do this with their, in their, in their factories. If something breaks down, if something breaks down in the Toyota factory, they stop everything. Everybody stops. And they go work on the problem. Because the problem is fresh, it's brand new, you know exactly what led to it, and you can fix it, you have a, you have a greater chance to want to fix it. How many times have you seen, I don't know, something broken in your house, or you know, you see a spot or, or, or something, and you walk past it, and the first time you see it, like, ah, oh, that's killing me, I'll get to it later. And the second time, you're like, ah, oh, I said I'd get to it later. The third time, you're like, there's that spot. Fourth time, you're like, you know, you, you stop seeing it. So if you don't fix what you believe the problem is at the time of the problem, there's less likelihood that you're going to do it. And that, that also becomes part of your programming. And you have control of the programming. You may not believe this, and it's not easy. It's not easy. You're not gonna, and first of all, you're not going to take out the whole engine. You're not going to take out the whole machine. You're not going to take out the whole computer. Your brain, plop it out, plop it open. Be like, this whole thing isn't working. <laughs> and and be like, we've caught up. One line at a time. One line at a time. Or you know, you can do. I think you know, Tony Robbins has like you know the massive action plan, the map. You know, and and, and listen, if your life can take that. Because it's a lot. It's abrupt. If your life can take it, do it. There's people out there that do it all the time. You see people reprogram themselves all the time. I've watched several people over the past couple years reprogram themselves. I've reprogrammed myself. I've been, parti I've been a participant in helping others to reprogram themselves. And it is amazing. It is astounding to be a part of that process, something that you are in 1,000% in control of. Everything inside of you, you own. This whole thing, this 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 whole schmigaggle is yours, dude. All right, this everything everything that's here, inside and out, belongs to you. Okay. The main part that 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 you know central computer piece belongs to you. You've got a bunch of code in there. Got a shit ton of code in there. Some of it's all jacked up. Some of it you wrote when you were like, uh, I was leaving jujitsu this morning. I wrote this program in kindergarten. I wrote this little Debbie kindergarten program in kindergarten. In kindergarten, little uh, Wesley Clark, his dad pulled up in the little Debbie pickup, like, you know, the, the 18 wheeler truck. And I thought it was the most amazing thing of all. I was like, how cool is that? This guy drives the Little Debbie truck. He has an unlimited resource of Little Debbies. And what was the Little Debbie? I got two Little Debbies out of the back of that thing. One was like the, the Star Crunch, the caramel chocolate crispy with caramel. Star Crunch, so good. The other one was the oatmeal cream pie. It's got oatmeal in it, so it's healthy, right guys? To this day, I'm walking out. 
I see that. That's the program that plays. That's the loop that plays in my head. And I have good memories associated with it. I have good feelings associated with it. I feel good. I don't have to eat the little Debbie. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I eat the little Debbie because that's part of my program. But I created that program in kindergarten. In kindergarten. There are programs that you've created you've been using that you know you have been using. You look at them you're like, oh shit, I created that in kindergarten. Where did this program originate from? Where did this come from? Do I want to keep this program? Is this program still serving me? How do I do it? Well, first of all, you become aware that that is your program. Second of all, you say, I want it or I don't want it or maybe I want to improve on it. And then you get to fucking work on it. <laughs> I mean, that's what's left. You start working on it. You can do this yourself. You can do it with a coach. You can do it with a friend. You can do it anywhere. This is like the whole Sam I am. Dude, Sam I am, right? Green eggs and ham. Just made a connection. That whole thing was about reprogramming yourself. All you had to do was take the opportunity. Everybody knows green eggs and ham. Everybody knows green eggs and ham. There's how you there's how you do it, you know? You're gonna have somebody day in and day out, some Jack and Heimer like myself that shows up and is like, you can change your life if you only try. And you can. And you're gonna hear it repeatedly, 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 and a couple more times until you're like, shut up already. I'm changing my life. I will eat the green eggs and ham if that will make you shut up. Will that make you shut up? Because I don't want to hear it anymore that I can reprogram myself. Even though we learned that we could do that with green eggs and ham, ladies and gentlemen. We've known about how to do it forever. I'm, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I mean, you know, I've been watching stuff on the Bible about like, you know, how non-literal that is. And about how that's about, you know, reprogramming yourself. And, and I'm, my, my mind is just like every day being blown about the capabilities that I have, capabilities that you have, and we're barely even beginning to touch the surface of it. But it does start with a program that you own and recognizing that it is your own and you owning it. I realized today in BJJ that my programming when I go with Eddie is, you know, I swing left, you know, I swing left and just pop on down. I realize that my programming with Jay is, you know, I realize I can get a, a bit of a jump. So I do jump like, you know, I realize that the other Jay is, is newer. So I'm helping her work through it. You know, uh, I realize that my program with Aaron is, 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 is unestablished, right? I don't know him well enough. I, I know that a couple lines that we've done, right? I know a couple lines of code with Aaron. I know a couple pieces. I know a couple junctions. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go back and rewrite that code and, and re, re review it because I'm still at hello world. If, huh, if you're looking for somebody to help you with this stuff, reach out to me. If it, it reach out to reach out to somebody you know is good in this space, reach out to some. Look, you don't have to believe me. I, I know this isn't the first time you've heard that you can program yourself, that you can write your own code. There's a gajillion thousand million books out there that can do it. You can read through it. It's the application of what you learn. And the application, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves, is not always external. Is not always external. The application is, is you, you, you place that stuff in your head. You get the program running. You stop the smoke from burning out of your ears. You stop worrying about the what ifs. You stop worrying about the fear, about changing your whole goddamn life for the better, no matter what anybody thinks about you. I had people ask me, why'd you stop drinking? Why aren't you drinking? Did you beat your wife? What the fuck? Do I gotta beat somebody? Do I gotta go to jail to stop doing something stupid? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. That was what was necessary, right? So whatever program you decide you need to reprogram, whatever and bits of code you know what is it that's going to make your life better maybe you've got a fantastic life maybe your brain again is like i am totally at ease with where i am this is perfect 
It doesn't need to get any better. I've never heard anybody say, ever, 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 my life doesn't need to get any better. But if you have gotten to that point where your life is like, it doesn't need to get any better, 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 that's cool. Hang there for the rest of your life. That's cool. But if you're like everybody else that I know that I've ever, ever, ever met that said, hey, if my life was just a little bit better, what could happen? What would happen? What would happen if my life was just one line of code better? You don't got to reach out to me. You don't got to reach out. Uh, Justin, Justin Bailey, as a matter of fact, is getting ready to open up this amazing group, which he's invited me to participate in as one of these coaches, but he's getting ready to open up this amazing group uh, where you get access to, I think it's like eight or 10 coaches at some ridiculously in, insane low level where the value is, is, is over a thousand times what you're, you're going to pay for it. I'm going to be a part of that. And there's going to be like eight coaches in there that you, you will never ever be able to access like that. Justin, I'm going to tag Justin out after I'm done with this. Um, I want you to, uh, you know, spill the beans. It's men only, uh, it's a men's only group, but the, the value is so insane. Uh, it's like the crazy Eddie stuff. They're slashing prices. Uh, I'm going to be a participant in that. Uh, there's going to be eight other coaches, eight other men who are going to be able to help you to reprogram your life. If you don't resonate with me, you will resonate with one of these other guys, military men, uh, you know, uh, people who are on the other end of like the, you know, the universe uh, spectrum, uh, just, you know, a, 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 you know, when you look at a jewel, there's many facets, right? Uh, so Justin's putting together what I would call a jewel, all right? Uh, he's putting together a gem. Uh, it's going to have many facets and to not recognize what he's putting together as that and to not find yourself willing to take that action to improve yourself or have a better life or maybe just simply rewrote the program. I'm not saying you got a bad life. I'm asking whether or not you've got the life you want. And that's got to be a question you've got to ask yourself. Do you have the life that you want? And if you don't, can you change that? And if the answer to that question is yes, then the next question is, what what are you going to do about it? And I, again, um, I believe Justin's putting together something that can help you do that. All right, guys, take it easy. This has been reprogramming. This has been programming uh, brought to you courtesy of South Jersey Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Berlin, New Jersey.